What's up fellow Earthlings? It's Austin Hustler Hires and welcome back to the one channel where everyone is welcome, even the haters. Now this is super simple for most people. Some of you may not know how to do this. Maybe you just bought an RV and you're thinking about taking it on some long trips, but you don't know how to flush out the septic tank yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and teach you the best way to flush out a septic tank. I have an RV on my property, which I use as an Airbnb. Some of you may know that, that follow me regularly. And I'm gonna go ahead and flush that out. We had a guest leave today. They've been here for a week. So the tank should be about halfway to three quarters full of waste. But first, I have to go ahead and run through this storm. Um, I believe it's raining outside. Yep. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and run over to my RV. I'm gonna cover this camera up and I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, now we're in the RV. This is my Airbnb on my property. I have a video I made about giving a tour um, of this RV and uh, I'll put that video link right here if you're interested in seeing the whole tour. Today we're just going to go over how to clean out the septic tank in your RV. Maybe you just got a new RV or you want to go travel in your RV and you've never really cleared it out or you have a problem with uh, a whole bunch of you know feces stacking up in your, in your septic tank and it's not properly flushing out. So um, this is my technique guys and for this technique Basically all you need is a five gallon bucket. We're gonna use this five gallon bucket to flush out our tank. So over here is my uh, control panel basically for the RV. And if you press this button right here, that is showing that, see all the lights lighting up there. That means that the septic tank is completely full and it needs to be flushed out. Sometimes in your RV, you'll get that uh, full light. And even after you flush it out, it will show that it's still full. That means that your uh, your your um, sensor in there is stuck and if it's stuck then you can uh, put some special chemicals in there not really special chemicals but my own concoction that I use um, in, in the end and I fill the tank up like three quarters of the way with water I'll show you how we do that to get that unstuck and to get it working properly once again let's go ahead and show you the whole step-by-step -step getting your septic tank flushed out in your RV alright so over here guys this is my toilet and uh, this is basically where you're going to be working at uh, the whole time you're trying to flush your, your tank out. If you've done this before, maybe you have some better ideas. Uh, maybe you have some pointers or some tips. I'm not an expert, but this is definitely uh, to help the men out there that want to uh, get this cleaned out. And, uh, you know, obviously, if you're a woman, you probably don't want to do this job. It's a pretty dirty job, but this is for you as well. Let's go ahead and fill this bucket up what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna place the bucket underneath the faucet in the shower here I'll go ahead and show you that so I got the bucket here it's underneath the faucet in the shower and I'm just gonna fill that five gallon bucket up okay so our bucket is full but it is just a little bit too full oh I'm gonna dump a little bit of water out here Okay, so the idea here is to kind of balance the edge of the five gallon bucket right here on the, the tip of the toilet um, while holding the uh, toilet flushing. I, if you have an RV, you probably know about this, this flusher right here. You want to hold that open at the same time as dumping this in there. So that's what we're going to do. And um, all the while this, you're dumping this stuff in here, right? You're dumping water in here, but you want the outside valve. I'll show you what I'm talking about if you don't know. There's a valve outside. You want that to be closed off. You want the water in here to build up and, uh, and really have a lot of water in here so that when you release that valve, it all flushes out really quickly with a big rush, okay? So we're going to go ahead and do that. Put this water in here just like this. Excuse my butt back there. Okay, so I'm balancing the bucket and I am dumping at the same time as holding the uh, lever. Now we're going to walk out here and uh, we're going to release this valve. Because the tank is already full, I don't want to put too much weight in that tank. Um, just be cautious of how full the tank is because if you do put too much weight in these tanks, uh, the tank will literally bend and fall out of place. 
So right down here, I'll show you. Right there, all right, this is the valve. And you're just gonna pull this open like that. And the, the water is just literally gonna flush down and into your septic, okay? You can probably hear the water flushing out. Oops, looks like I have a hole in my line over there where uh, some nasty water is coming out. And I guess I gotta replace that soon. That is really gross. I'll be, uh, I'll be buying another one of these hoses tonight and uh, replacing that very soon. That smell is horrible, horrible guys. Mm. We're gonna walk away from that for just a second because that is horrible. Woo! You definitely want to make sure that that hose gets replaced at least you know once every uh, two months because they will crack and dry rot, uh, dry rot excuse me out in the sun. Um, that is a really really bad smell. So woo, we're gonna wait for that to completely flush out. After that completely flushes out, we're going to close the valve again and then we're going to fill the tank back up with about 15 gallons of water. Make sure you check how much um, in your user's manual, how much water, how many gallons can your tank hold. And that is how many gallons you want to dump into your tank before you open the lever again. We're going to do this process about three or four times until the water comes out almost completely clear, which means there's no more uh, human feces left in the tank to flush out. If it's coming out nice and clear, that means you've done the job. And then I'll tell you what I do after I get to that point. Okay, so that was the third, uh, that was the third five gallon bucket that I dumped into this tank. I'm gonna go outside, let it flush. I'm gonna shut it back up and we're gonna come back in here and do it one more time. Before we add the chemicals and everything to our tank, I wanna make sure I get it nice and flushed out. So I'm gonna do this flush at least another one or two times before we add the chemicals, but I'm not gonna bore you with the process of doing that since you already know it is, uh, you know, basically fill up the tank to the amount of gallons your tank can take and then flush it out completely, close it up, fill it up again, flush it out and so on and so forth until the water is coming out nice and clean and clear. Right now, um, I'm on my last flush out and when I released it last, it was clear water coming out and that's exactly what you want is clear water uh, coming out of the tank so that you know it is clean. And then I'm gonna do one more five gallon while the valve's open to make sure it gets completely flushed out. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna close the valve back up. I'm gonna fill it with about um, let's say if your tank takes 15 gallons, you want to put about, you know, two thirds, about 10 gallons of water in there. And then you can add the chemicals to that, which is going to help free up your, um, sensor inside of there. If it still says it's full or three quarters full, but it's actually empty. Um, these chemicals are going to help clean that up and release it. So it actually reads properly. And, um, all this added water is going to help for when people start, uh, you know, doing number two in here it's going to help to uh have enough water in there to start breaking that apart instantly so that way you won't have this stacking effect all the way up the tube of your toilet i know some of you have probably had that it's i call it the mound of poop and then it literally comes up to the top of your toilet here we're going to go ahead and get that done right now my wife is bringing in my chemicals and i'll show you how i do that and what chemicals i use Dawn soap is the first chemical I use. Usually um, I like to use Dawn because it is a very good strong degreaser detergent and uh, you don't want to use one of those cheap brands because they don't they're not as uh, reliable as far as um, degreasing and stuff like that. So I like to put a good amount of this in here. You know don't be um, don't be too skimpy with it. Make sure you do use a good amount of the Dawn soap and then I like to mix it with a little bit of bleach, maybe a couple of shots of bleach in there, just like that, okay? And after you get your chemicals in the toilet, you fill your five gallon bucket up one more time, dump it on top of that so it gets mixed all together, and you're just gonna let that sit for a couple of days.
Now that I have flushed the tank out, I have to go ahead and clean this whole RV because we do have another Airbnb guest staying today. And don't forget to go check that video out if you haven't seen it already. I have lots of good videos on my channel about starting junk removal businesses, Airbnb. Maybe you want to start a rage room. I have, uh, I have videos on starting a rage room as well. So I am literally an entrepreneur and a handyman in every way. I'm going to start making more videos like this on how to fix things around the house and how to do regular everyday things. Me editing here. I forgot to make an ending for this thing. So that's how you do that. And I'm going to make another video about how you do something else. And then I'm going to make other videos about being an entrepreneur. Just being myself on these videos, guys. I appreciate you watching all the way to the end. Until next time, this is Austin Hustle Hires. I'll see you in the next video.